Is there some um, advice you can give on how to best study mathematics? So what's the role mm. of the student outside the classroom? Yeah, I think one thing we know is a lot of people when they review material, whether it's maths or anything else, don't do it in the best way. I think a problem a lot of people have is they read through maybe a teacher's explanation or a way of doing maths and it makes sense. And they think, oh yeah, I've got that and they move on. Um, but then it's not until you come to try and work on something and do a problem that you actually realize you didn't really understand it, just seemed to make sense. So I would say this is also something that neuroscientists talk about to keep giving yourself questions is a really good way to study rather than looking through lots of material. It's almost like giving yourself lots of tests is a good way to actually deeply understand things and know what you do when you don't understand. So would the questions be in the form of the material you're reviewing is the answer to that question? Or is it almost like beyond, it's the polygon thing that you mentioned mm -hmm, from a square. Mm -hmm. Is it almost like, I wonder what is the bigger picture? I was kind of asking mm -hmm. of like, how is this extended and so on? Yeah, that, that, that would be great. And it's a similar, I mean, a question I get asked a lot is about homework. What is a good thing for kids to do for homework? And one of the recommendations I give is to not have kids just do lots of questions for homework but to actually ask them to reflect on what they've learned like what was the big idea you were work you learned today or what did you find difficult what did you struggle with what was something that was exciting um then kids go home and they have to kind of reflect in a deeper way a lot of times i don't know if you had this experience as a math student lots of people do kids are going through maths questions they're successful they get them right but they don't even really know what they're about. They, and a lot of kids go through many years of maths like that, doing lots of questions, but that really knowing what even the topic is or what it's about, what it's important for. So having students go back and think at the end of a day, what was the big idea from this maths lesson? Why is it important? Where would I find that in real life? Those are really good questions for kids to be thinking about probably for everybody to be thinking about. I think yeah. most of us go through life never asking like the bigger question. Almost mm -hmm. like, you know, those like layers of why questions that kids ask when they're very young. Yeah. We, we need to keep doing that. We you know, do. Like yeah. what, uh, that's the, you know, whatever the term is you call first principles thinking. Some people call it that, mm -hmm. which is like, why are we doing it this way? So one, one nice thing is to do that because there's usually a good answer. Like the reason we did it this way is because it works for this reason. But then if you want to do something totally novel is you'll say, well, we've been doing it this way um, because of historical reasons, but really this is not the best way to do it. There might be other ways. And, and that's how invention happens. Right. And then you get, you know, that's really useful in every aspect of life, like choosing your career, choosing your, um, I don't know, what, where you live, yeah, who your like romantic partner is, like everything. Everything, yeah. And I think it probably starts <laughs> doing that in math class. <laughs> that would yeah. be good if we started doing that. I, want, I mean, I wonder, I, I probably didn't do very much of that for most of my education asking why, except for later, much later in the subjects on like grad school, when you're doing research on them, when your first task of doing something novel using this uh, or solving a problem really outside the classroom, they have to publish on it. It's the first time you think, wait, why are these things uh, interesting, useful? Which are the things that are useful? And yeah, I guess that was, that would be nice if we did that much earlier, that uh, the quest of invention. Yeah, yeah.